So when you hear the 50 Cent verse, all righty, because it's obvious y'all probably not, you, are y'all going by a studio session email? Nah, bro, I got that verse at 8.20 a.m. a week and a half ago. Oh, bro, so you still on I cloud 9,000. I woke up, I woke up, and I had my, my manager, he called me FaceTime. I didn't pick up because I, um, I was sleeping. And he texts me, hey, bro, when I call you FaceTime, you know, it's, it's serious. Yeah. Big boy Big neighborhood, boy. Eladio Carrion in the neighborhood. Yes, Eladio, yes, sir, welcome yes, to the neighborhood, brother. Welcome, brother. Thank you, thank man, you. Man, it's, it's, it's a here. pleasure to have you in the neighborhood. That's a pleasure to be here, man. Man, take dope. us with you. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man, it's, um, I just got here a couple hours ago. You know, <laughs> right. it's, it's LA, it's cold as hell. I know. Isn't it's this crazy, the weather that we're cold. having right it's now? It's too cold. Oh, I'm, man. I'm buying a Tesla. Global right. warming is, is, is hitting harder than I thought. Hey, man. And it's crazy because the weather out here been very non LA and California. I, right? I was ready for some, like, some some nice weather, but you've been here before though. So. Yeah, I've been here. I've been here, you know, in November and oh, then the, oh. December. It's cold, but it's not. And March, then you you, know? you back out here for Coachella. Coachella's April. Then you can't. Yeah, man, you gotta. We gotta book you on like a summer thing, man. Oh, let's do it. I'm when you ready. come out here, and you're like, man, it's hot out here. I, I I don't know what your numbers are to bring you out here, but if you want to come out for free and just let us make some <laughs> money off of you, bro, I, let's we, do it. We'll figure we, it out. We'll figure it out. And yeah. Lavia, where did you grow up at, bro? Because there, there there's a lot to your background. Yeah, man, I was I was born in the states. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, I was around a lot. You know, I was born in Kansas. Um, I moved to Hawaii. Then I was in Baltimore. Go Ravens. Yeah. <laughs> you got to say that. <laughs> um, then I lived a lot while in Alaska. I was in Alaska for like four years. Oh, wow. And that's Pops in the military? That's Pops in the military. Hey, man, when you move around that much as a Damn. kid, is it norm to you? Or do you realize, like, man, I can't be this dude's partner for a long time because I know we're going to yeah, pick yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's just like that. You know, at a young age, I was able to, you know, to learn how to, you know, cut and, and move, move on. on. And that actually, like, uh -oh. helped me out further on in my life. Like, gotcha. today, like, so when we're touring, like, every day, like, it's 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 hard sometimes, like, you know, being in one spot, then being in another spot, then another time zone, another spot. So, like, it, it kind of helped me out in the long term. What does that do for you personally, too, though, man? You know how, how sometimes when you know how to shut off like that? Not, and not shut off, yeah. but you know how to move on. Does that work in relationships, too? Yeah, man, it, it, it works. It doesn't work. Yeah. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's, 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 it's good and bad. Yeah, but, man. you know, it's, it's. Oh, exes be like, you're too cold. You just know how to forget. You know how to move nah, on. So you got to got, got learn. It's like a defensive mechanism. You yeah, got to learn how to yeah. do it because if not, it'll, it'll catch up to you. It'll hurt more. Did you feel like growing up and, and moving around is kind of like a tuition into the school of experience for what you do today? Yeah. Yeah, man. Of course. Had of you course. always been into music? Always. Was, was it in your household? Um, yeah, my my grandmother she sang. My dad, my my father he um he sings too, but not even like professionally. You right. Know? But it's it's it's. I, but out of my sisters, like I'm probably the only one that you know got that music gene. Right. So no, so no, no siblings have it. No 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 okay. no. They don't. Okay. They don't, yeah. Did you did you write first? Yeah, I started as a writer. Mm -hmm. I started writing from um, for 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 Coast School. You had I wrote I songs for Bad Bunny and well. And I'm talking about early on though. Were you did you know you were you writing music writing oh, poetry? Like yeah, how did you yeah, fall no, in I, love with it? Early? You know what? Early, early, I always loved to rhyme. I'm, I was a big I'm, I'm a big Eminem fan. You know yeah. Wayne, Fifty. Um, so I I always had that 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 curiosity for like you know clever wordplay. Mm -hmm. I was always like so. So you would lyricist first, lyrics oh, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and poetry yeah. rhymes first. Have in mind that my sisters are like are ten years older than me. So mm -hmm. when I was in the first grade, my my first CD was The Firm. Yeah. Oh Foxy yeah. Okay. Brown. That was my first like okay. physical CD that I ever had in my life. Had like, you oh, so had you always been like a, a hip -hop. child of hip hop? Yeah, yeah, always. Thanks to my sisters. Yeah. Yeah, always, but you know always. what, bro? You can hear that in the influences as well, and not influences like oh man he, but you can hear especially who you collab with. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like like you get people that's also obscure where where people have a following, like per, per, there's certain people that have yeah, a yeah, following. Yeah. Exactly. And you tapped into that. You know what I'm saying? Did they know who they were working with early on, like when? You know what? Yeah, yeah. Cause the, the the people that I usually work with, especially like American artists in the beginning, mm -hmm. um, I made sure that I, I met them first, right? So I can show them like, okay, this is I'm not like you know, right? Like other Latino artists that maybe have like a hundred reggaetons in there and they're hard. I have like a thousand hip hop, boom bap, rap yeah. traps. Like my 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 beats, my producers are crazy. So I want like every time I met. Each artist, they would understand. Say, okay, so this is another ball game. Like he's not 
like, yeah, come, like J Balvin, where I like, know he's like doing like what we do. This is rap, but in Spanish. How do you love it early on, bro? When when you say, man, you know, I had influences, or the first album was the Firm. You get you get this introduction to hip hop. You love hip hop. When do you start to say, I want to do that? Because it's easier to put your headphones on yeah, or listen yeah, yeah. to it. Dang, man, like it was it was just so much, so like so much time of me like in love with music per se yeah. that I didn't even like think about m me making music. Because to me, it was like, damn, how can I like, how can I like Eminem. Right, yeah, you listen to the best. How can I do best. music? How can I do music like him and make people feel like they feel with just music? Right. But like, at least how can you I... understood that. No, exactly, exactly, exactly. Yeah. No, and, and when I broke, and that keeps you working too. My first, my and production like my 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 two favorite songs in the world is Song Cry and Slow Jams, two songs that Kanye produced. So like Kanye like he showed me like M50 Wayne, they showed me like okay, the importance of, you know, in yeah, too, like, like you know, writing his raps, shit like that. But mm -hmm. Kanye, he just made me fall in love with like. Kanye was the first person to make me ask myself, who did that beat? Yeah, hey man, Kanye did song cry, yeah, Jay Z yeah. song cry. Yeah, he did song cry. Damn, you know which one? I can't see it coming down my mm -hmm. eyes, but I gotta, gotta make, make the, the song, song cry. cry. Damn. Good so dude, not only were song. you into the lyrics, you 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 felt the music and the melodic feel yeah, of it as well. I felt about beats a lot. Like, yeah. Like if, if in another life I was a producer. Like if you see my phone, I rarely have like artist number in my phones. Like I have a bunch of producers. Like my phone is full of producers. When do you go from saying, okay, you know what? I okay, I listen. I want to do this. You know, and already you're looking at Eminem and you're looking at these greats. You're not, not comparing yourself, but you say, but man, that's what it's supposed to sound like. Do you know what, man? It, I think it was after um, I did swimming because I was, I was a pro swimmer yeah. for, for, for a couple Bro, years. Bro, that's what I'm saying, yeah, man. Swimmer? You threw yeah. a lot of beautiful things up against the wall. <laughs> yeah, I, I was a pro swimmer for a while. So, like, in that time, I, I kind of just maybe used the music for more, like, you know, I would hear till I collapse before I went swimming. You know, I, I would do this. I would just to get hyped up. You know, I would use it as a, you know to get pumped. But it was probably like after swimming that I I sat down. You know, hey, started man. writing. And and, yeah. and, I, and I'm I'm probably gonna be all over the place with this no, too. You're good, you're good. <laughs> when so with swimming, right? Yeah. How old were you when you first started to? I was 10, Become like a 10, swimmer. 11, Not, Eleven. Like my okay. first like I, I I became pro like when I was fourteen. <laughs> oh, yeah. And where are you when you're, you're a professional swimmer? Are you in Puerto, Puerto Rico, Rico at Puerto that Rico. time? Yeah, I was in Puerto Rico. Yeah, right. All righty. So did you aspire to be a professional swimmer? I don't know, bro. I qualified for the Olympics. Yeah. I, I didn't go, but I qualified. That's I just crazy. quit before, like, I had my prime. How do you tell? And first off, why did you quit? Because swimming is not like, you know, basketball. Yeah. If you don't make the NBA, you can go overseas and play, get money. You can go play in China, get money, like, Swimming is like you have to be a Michael Phelps. If right, not, you're yeah, not yeah, money. yeah, yeah. You have yeah. to get that speedo, you know, yeah. contract that, you know, sponsors. Did if your not, family or parents, did anyone understand why you quit swimming, something yeah, that you had did so well? They understood, but they just didn't understand at the beginning that why I quit to, to pursue music yeah, and man. entertainment. How did they feel about you getting into entertainment and music? Because. I think, as a parent, and me being oh, yeah, a parent, yeah. yeah, you know, you love your kids. You're like, you like, baby, you damn. can do it, you can do it. But you're also like, oh, is Shit. that what you want to do? And, and you, because you're in the industry, you know how hard it is, you yeah, know? Yeah, man. Um, I think the only person who didn't think I was crazy was my mom. Right. Yeah, everyone else, you know, thought I was, I was, I was. And I'm pretty sure you heard some things out of love, too. Like, you know, are you sure? Oh, yeah, but, like, I was so, like, man, blinded by, by, by just... Like intent and yeah, will. I, know, and I, like, I, I wanted it so. I yeah. wanted it bad. Like I wanted like like just like I wanted to better my time of swimming. Like I wanted it bad. Like I wanted it. You bad, had you bad. always been competitive like that? Oh, always. I yeah. think swimming gave me like that 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 base. Like you know, to be competitive, to not give up, to be disciplined. That to have um, uh, what's it called? Uh, uh meta. So I say meta. Then meta. Um, discipline. No, yeah. to have goals. Mm -hmm. To have goals. Set them. You know, to, to know, like, where you are, where you want to be, and how right. you're going to get there. Like, to know, like... And swimming is in, it's individual. Oh, that, I loved it. Yeah. That's why. That's and, the reason why and, I did and is that why also, bro, like, individually, you know, because you can challenge yourself. Mm -hmm. And then you go individually. Of course, I'm challenging the person that's swimming next to me. But you challenging in your, your time. 
that's the only reason doing. like why I love the sport so much. I did track and field too. Damn, but it was it was the only but it's so Hey man, if you fucking <laughs> say that you were a chef too, <laughs> right? I'm I'm leaving. Nah, so I, I'm I, I suck in the kitchen. Okay, man. Yeah. all right, cool. <laughs> no, but I, I fuck with sports like that because I did I did basketball, I did all those other sports, but I kinda I got so pissed because I'm I'm someone that like if I'm doing something going all in. Right. I would get so pissed in the games that just because this dude didn't practice. Right. Like, I'm dependent on you, damn, too. Swimming was a, okay, if you don't train, you're not going to get better. So it's it's all on me. If, if The only person I can get mad at is myself if I do wrong. So, like, I, I love that kind of pressure. Hey, man, how hard was it to give up swimming? Because you know you got something over here. But... It, it was really? hard for two reasons. Um, because it's a lifestyle, man. I would wake up every day at four in the morning. Mm -hmm. I'd be, I would, I would train four thirty to eight, and then I would, but I would even, I would run a ten k every Sunday. Like I was, I was yeah. in it. I was elite, elite, elite. So the rap game, some of that looked lazy to you. Huh? <laughs> oh yeah, bro. I kept, I'm, I'm a bro. I was, yeah. I'm, 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 but like, and it was hard, like to 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 like get out of that lifestyle. It was, it was, it was. You know, it was it was kind of hard, and just like to know that okay, swimming. I was a, you know, a big fish in a small pond. Now right. I'm going into rapping that yeah. where I'm you know a little fish in an ocean. So and then man, you got to think realistically. Everybody want to be in the business somehow, and then it's like man, well, how do I cut through with all this clutter that's that's going on here? But so I when, think my my way was it was more organic because mm -hmm. I really never wanted to be like on the. On the outside, I, I started as a writer, right? And I told Noah, my um, my manager, said, "Yo, if I don't make a hit song in two years or in a year and a half, I'm not doing this." Now, when you say make a hit song, written or your own? No, my own, my own song. Re really? He told me, "Like, you want to do this? All right, let's do it." But if I don't make a hit song in a year, year and a half, two years, max, I'm staying as a writer. Damn, like, um, it's not like was okay, it gonna... hard early on being a writer to give somebody else your passion? Um. Uh, at first, I, no, because I, I just wanted to be in the game so bad, mm -hmm. and I wanted to be a part of it so bad. Like, I, bro, I would be in the studio. I'm a studio rat to the day I'm to till this day. I'm a studio rat. I can Monday through Sunday, I can do seven, sixteen hour sessions, and like, it's nothing. Hey, man, does that come from all your early discipline as well? And it comes from the. It, it comes from my, my, my days of sleeping in couches and studios, you mm -hmm. know, having to wait till everyone leaves at four in the morning for you to have some studio yeah. time. It, it comes from that, you know, just just hunger. It's a lot of tuition to the school of experience for you, though, huh? No, man, I, I've done my I've done my hours. <laughs> yeah. I've done my hours. And does that keep that work? Does that work ethic? Is that what keep you going right now, too? I just want to get but I love since, like, my music, like, I'm one of the few rappers in the Latin American industry that I don't, like... I don't beef with anyone. I don't try to like right. do do shit like to to to, to call attention. I, that's people know me because I rap hard as hell. Right. Like I can, bro. There can be people in the Latin industry who have more hits than I, who have who know how to you know make commercial hits better than me. But my 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 pen, my yeah. my my my, no one touching me. Like, so no when one. you get in early and it, you get kind of a little bit of a look, where did those first looks come from? Dang, in I your feel, early writing too. My first, like, what do you mean first look? Like, you know, where somebody was like, "Man, th this this kid is going on." You felt like, "Oh, this I started, is happening." Oh yeah, I started at uh, Coscuyuela. He's mm -hmm. one of like, like, the hardest rappers from Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. Like rap, rap, boom, bap, rap, rap. He's one of like the only like rappers, rappers in Puerto Rico, and he's from Umacao, where I'm from. So we're from the same place. We mm -hmm. studied at the same school. Like he was like someone I looked up to. It's like he was the one that like that said, "Hey, yo." Come on, let's 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 do some work. And the first songs we did, like they went crazy. So, so and like, you felt that then. Yeah. At that moment, do you feel like, not that it can't get any better, but you know how when you feel like you on, you're like, oh, this is it. Nah, bro. Like I never felt that in my life. Like, Damn. cause swimming, swimming taught me to be so fucking like. Oh, how do I say? Um. Oh, that I, I don't I don't I don't enjoy shit like I just right, want more right like, right right like I just want more like if, if I do driving this, for more yeah I always strive for more so like even when like when, like now I'm going to Coachella I say damn that's cool but like what do we got next what, yeah, what, what, yeah, what's, yeah. What, what can we do next like and to, at to, one point you wanted a Coachella yeah of course <laughs> yeah. I wanted to be nominated for Grammys I want yeah. this and, and like everything just like you know just 
not just not mean me think every day I want it, but like I said, that would be cool to have one. Just just work right. for it, you know. Hey man, and when you say work for it, bro, you put in a you put in a lot of work. A lot. And, like and, there's no no one goes to the studio more than me. And this crazy too, man, because even when you go and you start to do a backstory, right? You'll start to hear songs, and I was even like, dude, I didn't know that this was his shit. You know what I'm saying? And and not that you fluttered or you 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 saturated, but you put out so much music. And five then five albums in like two years. And you sat in, and not that you go out and you say, Oh, I gotta be hip hop enough, I gotta be Latin enough. It it's just that you yes, have man. a blend that's that feels like it's authentic. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? So so now when you start to get in and you start to see what's going down with you, bro. What's that next that next move for you? You know, because you're sleeping on the couch, getting an hour of studio time or whenever you can get yeah, it yeah, in. Yeah, um, man, but that I would. The thing is that I had like a group of friends. Mm-hmm. You know that we all are like going crazy right now. Like Hydro is a crazy producer, has his own label right now. Paciencia is Bad Bunny's engineer. Mm-hmm. Like the people who I struggle with, like right. are doing really. So I, I, had, a, good, I huh? had a really, really like good like team. Every every like upcoming artists that that ask me for 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 advice the first thing i said bro you gotta love this because if you don't love it it's gonna be so, it's hard but it's gonna be way worse if yeah. you don't love this and second it's way easier if like if you like have a group of friends if you're if your homeboy doesn't produce engineer like you know just learn how to do it because it's right, so easy in. just have like just have your own like little circle like growing up together like you know you guys learn from each other and that, this and that. So I, I had I had an amazing, like, you know, little team growing up mm-hmm. and stuff. So I think, but, but the music thing, like, and writing-wise, there came to a, a point that I wanted to sing because of what I was giving away. It was like, damn, it didn't sound the same when he, uh, yeah. when he recorded it. I was like, shit, man, I should have kept. Or yeah. it was just so personal. I was like, damn, man. I gave. Didn't that. even go through this. Like it was, I went through that. Like it, fuck. I, I I would feel like when I would hear the songs in the in the in the in the, in the clubs, mm-hmm. it wouldn't hit right. I would leave the clubs. I was like shit. Hey man. man, and you know what's crazy? It, it could be a hit to somebody else, but it's a blow to you. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm exactly. saying? Exactly. I, like, I was. Ah. And there's people who do it, like Jay Keyless, Jay Cortez. Like they're artists who like who have their songs that they sell and who have. But me personally, I I. I it's like almost down there giving your kids away. Like, man, this dude trying to raise my kids. Yeah, yeah. exactly, exactly. Yeah, exactly. And, and so you was like, man, I got to do it all myself. Yeah, and since yeah. I, I write all my stuff, you know, like it's, I, it's fun for me. Man, I, I love going to the studio and challenging myself. Like, yeah, man. How can I, you know, drop a punchline in each bar? How can I, like, you know, just find a way to 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 to, to stretch these words? These you know, word. But like, was it, it hard getting that look too, though? Because you know how you'll see some. And it's almost like 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 now we see this so called explosion. Yeah. But then it was like okay, it was like we'll, we'll pick we'll pick a couple to kind of represent around. Bro, the no world. one like the when when I I'm probably like the only person in the industry that like when Te Bote, you know Te Bote, mm-hmm. when that song came out, bro, everyone went commercial, everyone went dance yeah. hall, Every, everyone wanted to do millions of views like just like Te Bote. I kept on doing rap and trap. Hey, man, but you know what it is, dude? You'll see something, and if it's a label, they need to be that that next one. But you, thank we, God my need... label, bro, they they like they understand me. I, I'm probably the, fir- the first artist or second that was signed to Rimas, the Bad Bunny's mm. label, Joe. I was the first artist signed to them, and thank God, like, since day one, they let me But you also be. got in with some people that understood music, mm-hmm. too. You know what I'm saying? No, because, yeah, but bro, my manager, he's a, he's a bro, he's a Jay-Z yeah, head, you know. He, yeah, you know, so, he, like, we Because sometimes you get a, somebody that's like an A&R, they're not cut from the same cloth, no, and they don't understand nah. the texture of what you're doing. And then also, man, there's a soul to Latin music that's created. It's, if you don't have that, same with, with hip-hop, if you don't have that, even the respect then, for it. The yeah, respect man. For, just the respect for it. Yeah, so if you just say, oh, you know, do a sloppy carbon copy of such and such, it's like, oh, okay, yeah. You 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 don't understand the craft, and you definitely don't understand me. Exactly. You know, so so you you hold down until it gets right. What's your relationship with Bad Bunny? Oh, it's super, super. Yeah. I came here to, to, lock, to lock in with him. Oh, okay. Because um, I'm dropping Is my Is he album. here now? Yeah, yeah we're going to yeah, leave yeah. with you then. All right, okay. cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, man. This nah, dude be but, begging for us to hang out with him. No, nah, but we're going to, um, um, it's the last song from my album. We're mm-hmm. supposed to lock into, you know, to get that, that last song um, uh, I drop in Wait, two weeks. Wait, so the new album that's coming? So this, it's not even done? 
It's done. It's yeah, done. Okay. It's the last track. Okay. It's okay. The new, yeah, the new album now. Um, I got. Damn, I don't know. Who was this live? Yeah, you, I, I, I know you. Got, can I say something too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Future. Yeah, yeah I got. All future. right, I know Future's on there. Yeah. I saw, and, and it's a trip because you know they sent it to us. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 They yeah. sent it to us. Oh, I, you got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't open it. <laughs> yeah. And what I do, man, is I enjoy music. And I was trying to open it yesterday, but everybody else's everybody else mm. email open. Yeah. So, but I'm also the king of bootlegging. <laughs> yeah, so maybe that was like you know what I'm saying. Oh God, yeah. Yeah. you know what I'm saying. That that was yeah, looking yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so so did is is that on the one that y'all heard? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh no, no no I don't know I well, I didn't get all the way because I fell asleep. Yeah, I but, no, I fell asleep to it. I had to go to sleep. I haven't to get dropped. Here. I haven't dropped the track list yet, so I don't know if I if I should, if I should like. But I got I got. Right, I right. Take your time. After. Oh, yeah, yeah, bro. I got 50. I got yeah. Wayne. Hey, man, and the 50 <laughs> cent thing, when you go back in 50 cent, right? And at one point, you were just like, man, I was, who'd you like to work with? Man, I like to work with 50. I like to work hey, with Hey, bro, hey, yeah. check at all of my interviews. Yeah, bro, I seen 50, one. 50, Lil Wayne, and M. I'd say that, and I, I could say Big Sean and one or two, but hey, 50, M. And Lil Wayne Hey online. man What about Saying that And when people say Manifesting And putting it out there mm-hmm. Like what the hell Bro I'm a big I'm big on manifesting Because even when I saw The track listing Right for one I saw the pick And I was like Oh he met 50 all right, that's cool. Mm-hmm. They, it, it came together. Yeah. And then I saw the track list, and I was like, "Oh man, no." He met fifty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, and, and you know what's crazy about that man is just that respect for those before us, the respect for hip hop, respect to the game, and then to be recognized now as their peer. That's crazy. And you got when you talk about yeah. like Lil Wayne, Fifty, those kind of dudes, man. They pick and choose, and they don't have to do nothing. I know that exactly. There ain't exactly. nobody that can say, hey, man, throw this dude a bone. No, or he's, you know what I'm saying? Like, that is, come on, bro. Yeah. That's special. You know, funny, you know the funny thing is, bro? Like, the 50 track, I've had, I recorded that two years and a half ago. Oh, really? And no. in my email, it says, Eladio Carrion, 50 Cent. Like, I had that there. <laughs> yeah. One day I met him, I don't, I don't that's there in the Wayne track, Gladiador. I had that on my last album, and I was because we our, our camps had like you know communication. Wait, so you saying you had the fifty not recorded? It was recorded. It was, I, I even had the verse that I have right now. My verse, but not fifty. Not fifty. I had. I even had a verse. So for you him. already knew that this is the song. And I recorded that I'm a verse. For do him. I recorded 50. a verse from him and everything. Just if he if he like heard I had a verse. My verse and his verse recorded, just singing just like him. And then and you then, fast forward. And have, How do you get at Fifth, man? Because Fifth is also one of those people you see, and but you can call Fifth Wayne cats like that. You can call them the Untouchables. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? They 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 get in and get out kind of thing. And everybody wants a feature. Everybody want. Hey, let me get in your ear real quick. How does that have? For one, Fifty understands. Yeah. The looks too, and Fifty understands who he need to connect to as well. 50's a, I've been on Fifth for years, and you know he's a very yeah, smart yeah. guy, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Course, and, and he knows the audience, too. You know what I'm saying? So how does that come together with you and Fifth? Um, first of all, you know, the track, it's, if, if you hear it, like, it's, it's, it's 50. Like, mm-hmm. it, like when, he, when he heard that, I know that he just went like. Yeah. He screwed his face, and oh, <laughs> shit, damn. So that and my team is amazing, man. Like I, uh, I know, and it's it's crazy because like the person who really like put the piece together is one of my my boys, like one of my boys that like that I'm from Miami, Sencillo, mm-hmm. Sencillo, Machuca, Noah. Like you know, uh, it was you know just amazing communication between teams, you know, and them liking the music. So it, it was it was it was it was cool, man. I'm hey man, when easy, you but. when you first hit, yeah, and but especially you know. it's years in the making. Exactly. Even though you don't, people don't fifth don't know how long it is, but it, you know that man, this is like two three years or or, or a hip hop lifetime that I've been waiting on this. I wasn't gonna slow down this or stop like for kid, it, man. Like fifty and Wayne, I got yeah. Wayne on a, and, and then, then Wayne, that's a whole different monster. And then the song is like it's perfect for him, like it's, it's because crazy. Wayne won't even record for Wayne. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like real talk, no, man. Is Wayne good, man. is like, very special, bro. 
if I was Wayne, I wouldn't have done it. Right. Yeah. If I was Wayne, like, when they're saying oh, he might he might drop it, it's like I, he might drop it. Like, but if, if I was him, like I wouldn't like you know I barely drop me. Why would I drop for a kid in Puerto Rico? That's you know. The, Right, like, I don't even know. Like, so it just goes to show, man. You like, just like, killing they, it on the vine. You're already uh-huh. like, man, because you you probably love him so much that you was also protecting the yeah, the, no, the bro, hit, the I, blow. I have, I have him on a yeah, I have him on a pedestal like like that. But Wayne, like, thanks to Wayne and Fifty and M, like, I do what I do like today. Like, yeah, so man. It's, it's, it's it's this album is very like. Hey, dude, one of our next sit downs, he'd be like, Big Eminem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got Marshall. I got the. I, yeah. I, got, I got the. I got the vocals. Hey man, but if, so when you hear the Fifty Cent verse, all righty, because it's obvious y'all probably not. You, are y'all going by a studio session email? Nah, bro. I got that verse at eight twenty a.m. a week and a half ago. Oh, bro. So you still on I cloud nine thousand? I woke up. I woke up, and I had my my manager. He called me Facetime. I didn't pick up because I was um I was sleeping. And he texts me, hey, bro, when I call you FaceTime, you know, it's, it's serious. Yeah. And I call him, boom, he said, now check your WhatsApp again. <laughs> Damn. Bro, when I heard that. Did it, you it, know it was coming? I, I knew it was close because they say he was, you know, finishing up the verse and shit. But um, it's crazy because when I heard, when I pressed play on the voice note, I knew how exactly he was going to enter the song and everything. Like, I have visualized it so much. Like, when he said 50, like, we said at the same time, literally. Oh. And so it was it was a beautiful moment. Like, the Wayne verse 2 was beautiful. Like, it's just like, because in music, you know, you do you do a lot of stuff you feel good about, you know, shows, thousands of people, you know, Grammy nominations, plaques, mm-hmm. whatever. But, like, things like this, it's like, okay, you, you're actually doing what you wanted to do yeah. when you was a kid. Like, you're really, like... Living is it different though too? Do you start spending money that you like mm-hmm. that you wouldn't? Because I know if I had a, if I had, even if I had a uh, I have a future, you yeah. know, feature, I'm already like yeah I can go buy that now, because you know what? I like, know that um, it's gonna go. Yeah, but you know what? Like I, I blew a lot of money right early. You got to do that early, <laughs> like but so like thank God I did it early when it wasn't that much money. Mm-hmm. So but but it still it hurt at that time. What did you blow money on, bro? Okay. <laughs> Did you blow first... money on hip hop? Like the look? Did you have to get the car? I would and just the... blow money, bro. Like I would go out. You, you have know? a lot of people with you. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I, I would. I would blow money. <laughs> yeah. But like it wasn't like it wasn't that bad. Like it was just starting off. But like, but I, you I, knew that it was blowing it for you. Yeah, at that time. <laughs> yeah. For, for me at that time, like it was maybe two thousand, like fifteen, sixteen. Like for me, mm-hmm. if there was someone that were to give me ten thousand dollars, that was like. <sighs> Whoa! What is yeah. this? You feel me like the, for the, but like thank God like I learned at an early age. You know right, like right. what was like to manage your money well. This and that. So to, you saw ups and downs on a smaller scale. Yeah, yeah. But it weighed big. But it, it was it's amazing because like I literally went through all the the steps like the pro, the whole process. I did not like no one thought that this was gonna happen because they thought oh this swimmer like what I was he doing singing like what like no one believed this would happen. So mm-hmm. like. Were you known in swimming? Oh yeah, bro. I have, yeah. I still have records right now. Do people know you from swimming that also know you as an artist? Like, how yeah. does that carry over? Did you ever hear like, man, what is he doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the time, all the time, all the bro. That's why when I started, like, I really just like you know separated from everyone. It's okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I know what I got. I right. know this is harder than anyone else, and like, it's gonna happen. Did you feel like they was gonna respect it, or do you understand like, man, let me step it. back? Nah, it was, and it they, was yeah. in my mind it was more of like this is hard. Yeah, you like, can't deny no, it. You cannot deny this. This is hard as hell. You can you can see me another way for 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 a time for a year or two years, but there's going to be a time that yeah. you can say oh shit like I can't say shit anymore. It's yeah. too hard. Like yeah. so I was I just worked for that. Do you go from swimming to com- to being a stand-up comedian? Yeah, no, I I did swimming. I did comedy right after swimming, but comedy was more like Cause it was more music comedy, like oh, okay. that, that's gotcha, how I gotcha. got into writing. Cause gotcha. I used to um, imitate rappers' voices, yeah, and put out songs on SoundCloud with the what like real songs, not parody, like real ass songs. Yeah, like and that's like, when like, man, your shit sound better than such and such. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and I would get calls like, "Hey, bro, I heard the preview you put on your Instagram. Don't put that shit out. You're selling me that song. We're gonna have problems." I was like, "Okay." Really? I was like, "Okay." So what voices would you do? And I'm, and I'm not gonna take you through them. No, yeah, but I used to do Cocuyo El Añejo. Um, then I used to do uh, who else? Uh, Alexio La Verde. But I think, but the the person that I like got the the gig was with Cocuyo Hey man, so when when you would, when you would do the voices, people nail you nail it, 
But then lyrically, it was amazing. You nail it. it was amazing. They'd be like, did, Shit. did people tell you like, man, why are you doing this? Yeah, because there would be people say, oh, what is like? Since it was, you know, it was, it was, you know, and all, all fun. They'd be like, shit, like, yeah, you, you're spitting harder than these guys spit. But like when I actually went to go rap, they'd be like, ah, oh, what is he doing? Like, ah, oh, what's right, this? What's right, right, yeah. So, did, so, so, did you feel like? Some people wanted to lock you in on the parody thing. Yeah, they did. They did. Right. They tried to. Yeah, for, for because but. do you know Ari Spears? Of a course, comedian? Like she does. Ari, she does Jay Z. So when cool. he do his Jay Z DMX, yeah, that yeah. that right there, man, it's like, and he writes that. You're like, oh yeah. man. And another one, Afion Crockett. Mm. When Afion go, he goes. Comedians, I I think are the most creative people in the world, and yeah, like man. in different ways. Because look, look at look at Jordan Peele. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, bro! He he makes he's a comedian. He has one he had one of the hardest you know comedy shows, and he he produces one of the hardest yeah. horror movies. Like, yeah. So it goes to show that you know comedians have like have like that understanding of you know just to be a comedian, you have to have like an overall view of what everyone likes. Like in this room, I have to read all of you. Okay, you're this, you're that, you're that, but I have to find. What's the common denominator will make you laugh? You feel mm -hmm. me? And that's a solo thing too, and that's instant. Like you can't get up unless you got like a comedy troupe, but you can't get up and be like, "Oh yeah," and if you no, can't hey, point your you, mic hey, out to the it's crowd. It's the worst. It's I the, can't hey. tell Jose like, mm -hmm. "Man, you finish it." That's, you know what I'm saying? That's what I always say. Like comedy, really, like everything I've done in my life, I think like it, it just <laughs> helped me. Like it just you know molded me for what I was. Yeah, what you doing now? Because comedy, bro, the worst, I can, bro, no artist, ne no one can tell me, like, the worst stage in the world is a comedy yeah, stage. Bro. It's the worst. It's the worst. There's no, <laughs> there's Amen. no backup singer. There's no DJ. To, <laughs> bam, 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 yeah. get, get him, get him. There's yeah. none of that. If you. Bring it back. Yeah, yeah no. no. <laughs> yeah. Hey, there's no point to mic out. If you're on a roll and you fuck up half a second of your skit, or you miss one word, one yeah. word, one word, you lose your crowd for the, oh, for the yeah. rest of 30 minutes. Oh, yeah, bro. And, 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 and we're out there, and, and already, when you go in, you already got your arms folded anyway. You know what I'm saying? And so if what? you give yourself somebody mm -hmm. a, a beat, they on it as Jump opposed it. to, you know, you'll see lyrics, the artists that forget the lyrics, Somebody to help no, him out. Just, just you put out. your yeah, mic yeah, out there. Yeah, yeah. Jump in the crowd, do whatever. Yeah, like, if you're but. on stage and, and, and mess up your comedy routine and you start jumping up and down, be like, man, what the hell he doing? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Get him, get him, get him. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, yeah. So that's not that that's a lonely world, but that's also a solo world it is. that it had is. to toughen you up it for is. what you're doing here. Because I talk to a lot of comedians, right? And comedians are like, man, I, every comedian I say, man, do you remember your first bomb? They remember the first bomb. You know what I'm saying? If I told you, I'm going to tell you quick my first bomb. Yeah, yep. The first time I did stand up in my life. Because I thought, hey. I'm a funny dude. You know, I do, I'm funny as hell. I don't have to, like, you know. And and, and, and are you funny, homie funny, kicking it funny, I'm, social I'm, media I'm, funny, and all that at that time? Where you're like, man, I can yeah, do yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I, I said, I can do this. This ain't shit. Five minutes. Yeah. Because it was a thing that they had on, um, uh, uh, what's it called? The lights. The Yeah, so you had a clock. Yeah, it was, it was the, the 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 street lights. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so it was so start it was start off at green, and we had green. It was five minutes, and when it would go to yellow, it would mean you would have uh, a minute left, no, two, a minute and a half left. And when it would start like flashing, you had like Wrap thirty seconds left, and then red. That so felt I long, said all huh? my jokes, the pressure. and it was still green. Oh. <laughs> and the rule is, it was only five minutes, and the rule is, I said all my jokes, bro. It was like it, it went by so fast. And it was, and you can't leave the stage until it turns red, bro. Oh. I was a good two minutes, just like, yeah. So what's yeah. up, man? Yeah. Oh. Well, yep. oh man. Yo, yo. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I couldn't do it, but it was yeah. Any, horrible, horrible. Anybody like baked chicken? Mm -hmm. no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's a whole different world, bro. That's a whole different a world. Pain and hurt oh, yeah. on the internet. Uh, hey man, but but there's a drive in you that even with comedy. With your first bomb that made you go back. That's true, yeah. Because usually, man, some people they we kill it on the vine, homie. We like we one and done, and especially when it's something solo and it's on your ego, you, and and you walking in like, man, this is what I do, and then somebody like, no, nah, that's not what you do. Oh, you ain't funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So what makes you go back? And did you change anything? And then even like with music, you had to learn pacing. It's all you know practice. Yeah. It's all about practice. At the end of the day, bro, everything is practice. Like, what made you want to get on the stage, though? 
Because let me tell you, bro, I've been doing radio for a yeah. while. And I get people all the time and be like, Big, you need to try stand up. And DL, he get everybody. And I always tell him, I say, man, you know what? We sit down for 20, 30, 40 minutes. I can make you laugh yeah. within, that, within that 20, 30, 40 minutes. But I can't make you laugh for 20, 30 minutes. It's to me, and, and I believe in I me. Get you, I get you, I get you, you know what I'm saying? You, get you, get like, yeah, it's a whole no, different it's, world. It's, it's, it's just like, you know, in music, you do your little rundown. You say, I'm going to talk about these topics, this, this is the punchline. They're going to laugh at Right, they might right. laugh at this, but they're going to laugh because at this. Because even with your music, you know your song list. Yes. All right, this going to get them. Then when they hear this, boom, you know, so, and but that's also your comedy timing, too. Everything. Like yeah. I said, man, everything just. God is good, man. Like he, he really like molded me out. He helped me out to to, to have an understanding of because it's hard. Like if I, I don't know how there's there's some like artists like Bad Bunny like they just blew up. Yeah, I could only imagine like the stress and like how how hard that is. I thank God every day that like you know, even if it took a little longer, you know. Mm-hmm. But I saw everything. I went through everything. Like, and you didn't have mm-hmm. to go through probably a whole lot. On the center stage, you know what I'm saying? Because the bigger the stage, the bigger a situation. The bro, big, sometimes yeah. I, I found myself in, not not now because you know I've, I've gone past that. But like in the past years, like I would like hold myself back and, and stuff. Like in opportunities, I wouldn't do them, or like I would I would just like pick up the phone because I was afraid of yeah. that. I didn't I didn't want the center spot. Today I said I don't I don't like it like. I, I was a swimmer. I, I used to go out in fucking shorts and 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 and, 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 <laughs> and, and fucking the sandals to, to the to the market. Like with you now, now I got you know, right? Yeah, ready, yeah. Be right every like with, there's cameras everywhere. Like so it was it was it was hard to me like to 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 yeah to to like really like be in the industry. Hey man, when you go from swimming and swimming is that one thing how we say solo you're successful. Yeah. And then you go to comedy. You're doing comedy. You're successful. And then you jump out of that, too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, these leaps of faith. Because there's some people that'll say, man, I'm going to ride this this swimming thing out. Yeah. Then somebody else would be like, man, comedy's my thing. It seemed like you throw things up against the wall. They stick. You run with it. And then you do another challenge that's even more... Like, cause for one, comedy's swimming. Uh, you you said you got to be Michael Phelps, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's already standalone. And then comedy, every that man. When you start thinking about comedians, there's so many comedy clubs and great comedians that we you probably never heard of. And then you have some mm-hmm. I never heard of. And then we got comedians that yep. they never heard exactly, of. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. And then you go from that into this world of music. Where there's, we were saying on Spotify, there's 8,000 Lil's just on (laughs) Spotify. Everybody want to be in the business. So now you done became a so-called, at one point, smaller fish, not in a a pond or in a pool. You're in the ocean now. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what make you in your head say, man, now this, this is it? I think music was always my passion as Mm -hmm. a kid, so... Um, I always knew I was gonna do something big with my with, with with my life, not because you know I think of myself a lot, but I just do shit well. Like when I do something, I I, right. I commit. So anything like in my mind, if if I were to like t- chef, like you said, yeah. hey, if I were to, if I want to be the best chef in the world, I will quit. Sw- I will quit rapping tomorrow. And I will be the best chef in the world. I will be the best fucking chef in the whole entire planet, bro. I will be with Ramsey, Gordon Ramsey. Right. With, <laughs> I will have my own show. I will, and that, and that will happen if if I set my mind to it. So I was, what was the question? I, I lost. I lost. Shit, I think that was it. Uh, that was it. Um, like, yeah. You're in the big ocean, and you're saying now yeah. this is it. The music. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That was. I'm glad you said that because, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, man, yeah, man you're right. Taking you your know, notes. My mind is gone, and I don't even smoke. No, you yeah, know what I'm saying. But, Hello. Yeah, but I just, like I said, music was always the common denominator. So I think that's why it all ended up there. But I always knew I was going to do something because it was, uh, my mindset is just, is, is, is that. When did you know it was happening? Because you get these little yeah, douses bet, of, oh, this is, this is going on. I think when, um, when I dropped Kemba Walker with Bad mm. Bunny, 
I dropped that. I think that's when people said, oh, shit, is that, that's probably one of the hardest trap songs I've heard, like, mm -hmm. ever. So, like, after that, they said, okay, kids, nah, 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 playing. And when I dropped my first album, like... Did that feel mm -hmm. different to you? You know, it's funny. That song got leaked. It got leaked. The only well, song... I apologize. No, no, no. <laughs> no I didn't leak it, but we heard it. No, but the, the thing is, it came out amazing because, like, it, I remember the day. Like, I had a video with Burner that day. Oh, I was like, shout oh, out shit, to Burner, too. Yeah, shout out to Burner. Hey, <laughs> OG. I was like, shit, I'm going to be on with Burner But on see, that showed me right there, too, what, what your backbone is, too. Just the names that you drop. But go ahead. Yeah, I said, man, I'm going to be on Burner Day. I'm going to be with, I'm gonna smoking hella weed with him on the boat. You know, it's going to be amazing. And I get the text, oh, shit, that shit got leaked. Like, damn, they'll put it out today. But, bro, that shit went so viral because it got leaked. Hey, man, does the huh. leak help and hurt, though? I, you know what? For, I think it, it always you hurts. Weren't it, always ready. hurts. it always hurts. Yeah. But I think since, like, we didn't have a song yet together, that shit just went viral on WhatsApp. It went, bro, that shit went viral in WhatsApp. Like, was it going to go out anyway? Yeah, it was. It was. Okay. It was. Yeah, but not that time. Yeah, man. Yeah. So when, when it leaked, you just kind of got to... So now it was, like, it was okay, just like a big, a big go ball of yeah, a big ball of you know publicity. It leaked this, so that's I think something like that. That boom. Hey man, you know when somebody's project leak, are you beating yourself up like man, or do you know how it got out? Usually my shit doesn't get leaked because um it was bad bunny man. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that guy, you know. <laughs> He'd no, no, but yeah. like, 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 I don't, cause I don't. But now, now, nowadays, like before, I be sending little shit to my boys. Hey, you gotta hear this shit, boom, boom, boom. But now, like, I yeah. send my hard drive and that's it. Hey man, I would when die. you're on the boat with Burner and it's Burner Day and and you feel like this, like this, you're high. No pun intended. It does that knock you off your square when you when you hear that it got? I leaked? was pissed, but my mom, I was with a good friend that day, Jumpy, mm -hmm. and he was like, "Bro, forget it." That shit's gonna go crazy. Does it rush the project? It did, but like, you know, my 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 my, my no one called me and say, hey, bro, don't worry. Right, we're right. gonna roll out. Hey, right. this is gonna be go crazy. They, and, uh, uh, they caught us off guard. Fuck it, we're gonna go hard. Is that the way we heard it though? Was that yeah, mix yeah, yeah. and master? Yeah, yeah, okay. Mix and master, mix okay. and master. Yeah, okay, master. so yeah, so it's like, all right, it's out there. I gotta go. Yeah, but it's, it was it was good. And they, then they it's good it. because it did take in it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I went crazy. That's one of the hardest like Latin tribe songs in like in the history of Latin How did y'all relationship come together? You and Bad Bunny. Damn, actually, I met him. Okay, I was trying to finish school because mm -hmm. I dropped out of um. You know, oh my lord! I dropped out of Eladio. Are you a doctor too? <laughs> <laughs> no, I dropped out early, like oh, okay, like like, okay. like in my, my 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 second my second year of um my, 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 of college. And I just tried to go to, you know, to, to, to a junior college to, you know, to finish, you know, have a little degree for my mom, whatever. Right, right. <laughs> and, um, and, uh, and learn a little here, something, you know. Here, here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, like, I went, I went to this place. Called, I'm not going to say the name of the school, but I, when I walked in, I see Bad Bunny. At the college? At the college. Or but the he, he had no music. Like he had he had music, but he hadn't he wasn't like he wasn't bad right. bunny. He yet. wasn't bad bunny. He had dealers on SoundCloud. Right. It had like a hundred thousand. Did you know for for that 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 was bad bunny off of SoundCloud? I, I, I didn't know no because he wasn't he wasn't known. Right. He wasn't known at all. Like no, at all. Like Did he, had, he know anything people about people you? People saw like heard his music because they didn't know his face. Like it, right. it was it was 2000, maybe 14, 2015. So I, I talked to him and he talks to him and says, Hey bro, do I hit you up? My name's Bad Bunny. Bum, 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 I do this and that. And I said, oh, I'm, I'm about to, you know, come to this school. I said, don't come here. This shit sucks, bro. <laughs> like, I was going to, like, to to, uh, to go into school, and he was going out. You was out, going to enroll? <laughs> and he was he was quitting that same day. And he said, bro, don't do it. And I, I was there for a week, and I quit. It was horrible. Hey, dude, when people <laughs> say <was> our <laughs> lives cross paths. Yeah, yeah. Bro, if I was watching a movie and I saw that, I'd be like, oh, it was right. it was real into that no, fake you know, ass crazy. scene when I, he's walking out and he's and walking it, in. And it was just like that. And like when he showed me his he said, hey, let me, can I show you songs? Like, hey, let me let me hear it. Had, had he known of you from yeah, any? Yeah, because I because he know me from that time I was doing comedy already right, and as a swimmer. Right, so, and I had a couple parody songs that were right. popping in Puerto Rico. So like it, popping, it, number walking one. Walking through this school, you the big dog. Yeah, exactly. Right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So I, he so he shows me the Dile song. Dile mm. que yo. That's the first song he he. When Did he you wrote. hear it? I heard it, and then like I, I love music. I know like, and I saw the numbers, and I knew SoundCloud because I had had a couple songs with millions of views in SoundCloud. So I knew like you know how many song how how many views per day was was <laughs> popping and shit. And I saw he had like a, a hundred thousand views in like six seven days. He had little followers. Like oh shit. And then I heard the song. I was like, 
whoa, like, who who produced this? She's like, oh, me. And who, like, me. Like, who made me? I was like, what are you crazy? And I had just signed with Rimas. Mm -hmm. like are y'all standing there? Is this a conversation y'all having? Standing there? Oh, yeah, that's, 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 that's us standing, like, in, oh, the, in the hallways. Wow. He shows me a song, and I said, bro, I just signed with a label, like, two weeks ago. I got to take you there so that they can meet you. So they met him, and the next day they signed him, and they Damn. The rest is history. Damn. Yeah, so we go way back. We go way, way, way back, way back. Right. When you bring him on stage during one of your biggest shows, oh, I was, I was, that was the first time he, he, the first time he got on stage was like in Puerto Rico on a big mm -hmm. stage was 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 me and in Ponce. And when he, um, I love that he said Ponce. That's where my family's from. Oh, really? Um, yeah. What's yeah. Up? What's up? But when he's on stage with you and he gives you your flowers, what does that moment feel like? Oh yeah, that was re two? that was recently. Yeah, yeah back in the, August, right? Yeah, no, but we have mad respect for each other. Like like. I know what type of artist he is. Mm -hmm. I know what he has done for the culture. I know, like, I recognize that. I respect that. He knows that. And he knows, like, the passion I have for this mm -hmm. music, too. Like, he, he knows. So, like, what, does that three, what does that feel like, though, when you bring him on stage and pretty much you introduce him to an audience? Bro. And then fast forward, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? You come out on stage, too. I'm, I'm a person that, like, I could have, like, Every artist that, like, a lot of artists in Puerto Rico that, like, new emerging artists that come up, I usually record them first, always. Mm -hmm. Nah, no paying for features. No, I, I love to see, like, people with talent. I love to put people in, in like, in a position to win. Mm -hmm. like, I don't care, like, if you, like, whatever, you can do whatever. Like, if I see you have talent and you're a cool cat, why not? Like I would have loved for someone to like to come and scoop right. me up. Like when I was fucked up, to hey, like you know what? Come, let me let me get you right. Let me let me take you to hit it. I would have loved that. So it doesn't like doesn't doesn't make me like it's kill me. Like I, I can do it. But like, you know how everything is so competitive and people, you know, people don't. When you're really not give sure about your your music and your shit, when you're not like when you're very insecure, that's what that's happens. That's what happens. But I'm very very sure of my music. Like. I can drop an album and like they can tell me, okay, so like these these five guys are dropping the same day. Okay, drop. Yeah, okay, yeah. Drop, okay, well, yeah, I'm not moving my day. I'm not, I'm not moving my day. Like, <laughs> my fans are there. They know what I'm like. I make music for my fans. Like, hey, man, Saucy so Boys true. and Saucy Freestyles. Where did, where did Saucy come from? That's, that's, I mean, Saucy Boy Freestyle, <laughs> that's like, man, bro, that's, that's something I started in the studio and like the fans just kept on wanting it. Like, and then I, just do, I would do the videos one take and they loved it too. But Sauce Boys is just like that's my that's my my baby my 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 thing you know yeah where does that come from though it's just Sauce Boys was really I started it was my producer tag name my boy Audio Beats we used to have like it was him producing used to write mm -hmm. and like our group name was Eladio and Audio the Sauce Boys right so like before we we like we fell out at, um like 2000 maybe 18 something like that and we didn't talk a lot but I just kept on using the Sauce Boys name because it was a man that I that, that right. I had, that I had that, that's my boy by any chance that's my boy but like just so you guys understand where Sauce Boys came from but Sauce is having the the Sauce man like the Sauce Boys is hey the man sauce. but it's crazy how you not 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 that you took it and ran with it but you put such a brand with it. You know what I'm saying? No, it's, it's a movement. It's a yeah. movement. I got kids. Like, there's thousands of kids. That, like, like, I got this shit tatted on them. Hey, man, you know what's crazy about that, man? Is like, those that know, we know. And then there's, you're always picking up somebody new. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's always, like, if, and I always tell people, oh, if you know, you know, if you don't, consider an introduction, right? Yeah. And it's crazy how you haven't even saw your audience yet. You know what I'm saying? Like you can get out on stage, you could do, but you haven't seen what you know is in your head yet. Exactly. And the music that you already did, and like, like if if we're waiting on a new album, right? And somebody here, you future, you know, uh, shit, fifty, whatever it is, they they hear anything, then they go back and they see, oh wait, hold on, man, this dude's been solidified. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, but do you always feel like you're in competition? With yourself because there's always new ears that's just coming. Man, it's just me. I love doing albums, mm -hmm. making albums. Like I hate doing solo. I just love doing albums. The stress it brings, just making a project that makes sense. So like, 
Now well, I lost. I lost track again. What was you it? love making albums. And what, 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 the, question, like, the, question, the question before. Uh, do you feel like you're in competition with yourself because there are new ears coming in? Oh no, I'm I'm in competition with myself because I just like putting out a better product every mm -hmm. time I, I come out. Like I I stress, bro. Like I'm in the studio. I can be in the studio a whole day just with a producer trying to find a new mm -hmm. sound or like just to try and do something I never done before. Like. I will never put out an album if I don't think it's better than the, than the, the previous one. You know, one. some people don't challenge themselves like that either. No. You know what I'm saying? Like I we, understand how artists can sometimes put out trash yeah, albums. I don't and, understand and how And sometimes they know, like, yeah, just keep it or just, you know, you, like we had Pat Poole But you know, what, you know what, though? I understand that because not every artist has, like, it's so easy for me to just worry about music. My team is amazing. Like, mm -hmm. I, I don't have, I'm, I don't fight my labels. Oh, shit, damn. I owe them three albums. Fuck. Mm. I don't want to give them these songs because these are hits and like right. I gotta wait till I get out of the project and when artists do that that's when like you fuck up your artist like you're you're you're, cause yeah. you're not getting the whole thing you're and getting, it's like, on you it's like damn I don't want to give them these songs cause you know when I'm yeah. getting, when I get out the contract I want to put yeah. out but, and, that and then that's wanting. on your name like we don't know Johnny Goldberg you know what I'm saying? Or whoever's on that label, we just like, oh, no, man, and like, and the, short. As an artist, you don't want to put out shit music either, but you right. don't want to give them like your music. Oh. So like, so there's a lot of artists that have that, you know, but thank God I've never been in that position. Like my, my label, like they're man. super cool with me. They love my music. They love what I do. We just recently had Papoose in the neighborhood, right? And Papoose, one year he dropped 12 like EPs. And the 12 EPs was every month. It was January, February, and every month. And I was like, man, I said, this crazy, bro, that serial killer, all the stuff that he's done. I'm like, people don't work like that. You know what I'm saying? But he does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do. I love it. I yeah. Love it, I love it. I love it. Yeah, see, I love the fact, I like, what is it, mediocrity? Is that what they call it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Just mediocrity. Right yeah, like the, uh, you know, some people like to challenge themselves. I'm like, I ain't doing that. No, people that sometimes they, they just drop albums to drop them. Yeah. Or just to get a bag or something. Uh, I, I really like. I really so, care about what people say about my shit. What's the title of the new album? Okay, so I got, I have a <laughs> series of, like, when I do Sauce Boys, Sauce Boys is, like, the, everything. You're going to find reggaetons, everything. It's, like, a whole complete album. When I do Monarca, it's trap, but if I make it feel like a whole album as if it had reggaetons, it's just so complete production-wise and beat-wise. You feel like it's a, it's not just a trap album, but it is just a trap album, rap album. Um, Sendo Cabron. Yeah, this is the third, is the third one. I'm yeah, gonna drop okay. The third one. That's the one. That, no featurings, just me alone and bars. And that's the one that they they love. But I've, all my albums, the most that that they love is send the Sendo Cabron volumes because my my fans, I have like a cult fan base. They don't like when I do features with people. Really? Like when I put okay, um, uh, remix with who? You will see five thousand comments of people. No one, no one, no one, no one. Oh no one, wow! No one, no one. So when you ask please, for the please, feature, please. they like, no, we don't, please, we don't please, want please. it. Please, like they really like they really tune in this and to hear what I have to say. So that's 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 amazing, man. But you huh. it, it, and it feels like you also super serve your audience too, and you know who you know who you locked locked in with as well, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. I, I can't wait to see what's going down. Mm -hmm. You're going to be at Coachella. I'll be in Coachella. We'll be there. We'll be there. We'll be there. We'll be there. Yeah, man. Yeah, so I, I don't know if you want us to come out with you. I don't oh, know. Let's go. Let's yeah. Come yeah. on. Come you on. Know, let's do it. I don't we know. Out, you you out, being a out. swimmer and all that, it seems like your energy is a little I need to jump, jump in on stage. <laughs> 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 nah, oh, can't do it in comedy. We'll do it here, though. I miss your whole stage show up. You know what I'm saying? Believe that. So are you in L.A. a lot? Um, did we steal your dog out here, bro? Who they did steal it? my dog here, man. Damn. They stole my dog. I cool. found him though. Hey, manifestation. Yeah. Hey, I manifested this, bro. I think since that day. Now, was your dog stolen or did he run off? No, he's they were because he was stolen usually dog, yeah, and that's manifestation Damn. when you say because dogs don't they people don't bring you don't find them. No, I found him in L.A., bro. A week, I found him in Fontana, bro. Damn. Okay, yeah. explain what the hell happened. Okay, I went and to then Venice. You got to know what Fontana, if you were in Venice, mm -hmm. and how far that dog. Yeah, got. So it's two, two hours and a half. Yeah. After, like, okay, I went to to Venice to go ride scooters, and I left the dog in the in the Airbnb. And when I came back, the door was like it was open, like they they had forced it open. They took they took the dog. When I came back, it wasn't there. Do you think they was eyeing your dog? What yeah, kind of yeah, dog I, was I, it? It was a French. It's a Frenchie. Oh. It's a Frenchie. Oh, it's a Frenchie. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, so they stole. That was a good like. Week I didn't sleep I didn't sleep the whole week Like I was I had a group of Of like 10 fans From here Like bro I, 
if they want to go to any show, I fly them out. Like, to, I'll take them out. When they want to go, they, they help me out when I, um, when I lost my dog. They would post flyers with me, like, from, like, 9 in the morning to, like, 2 in the morning. And now, granted, you just here. So, at some point, you you had to leave. But are you thinking oh, stayed, you had I to stayed, leave without your dog? No, nah, bro, no, no. That wasn't an option. I wasn't okay. Gonna, like, the, the day before I found my dog, I was going to drop an, um, an EP of three songs and, like, the, 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 the cover was gonna be lost dog his number like oh wow I was, hey, bro, I was going all oh, I I was not gonna like the only reason I would come back with my dog if like if a coyote killed it or something like if I was not leaving LA without my dog how did you find it um just bro I spent like like eighty grand just in Office Depot and um oh, wow. and you know the um the the Amber Alert things the phone things yeah eighty grand just in that wow. so Not we could, we could be money. sitting so and it was like eh, eh, and eh, you I, I, eh. I bet you got you know like, bro I bet you got a ten like a at, French at least ten poodle is missing yeah. Yeah. French is missing <laughs> like what French. no and like for like bro like for like a year and a half you would still see posters of Kemba like in La Cienega like <laughs> oh. all of that. Hey man, so that and, but that and I manifestation. Know. I'm gonna tell you, man. One thing: the day, like the day before I found him, this dude just randomly calls the the number on on the hotline, and he calls me and says, "Hey, yo, bro, I didn't find you. I don't, I, I don't have your dog, just in case. But you're gonna find that motherfucker." I was like, "Man," like, <laughs> said, "Bro, say it with me. You're gonna find that dog. So I'm gonna find it. Say it louder. So I'm gonna find my dog, bro." I woke up the next morning. I had the story. I'm gonna show you when I'm, when, when I'm, before we leave. I'm gonna show you the story. I posted a story, and I said, "Damn, today's an amazing day." I thought Kemba's coming home today. I posted that Kemba's coming home today. Damn, it's, it's an amazing day for Kemba to come home. Shit, bro. Four hours later, they call me. Bro, I got oh your dog. Lord. Hey, dude, please tell me 50 Cent didn't walk in with your dog. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, this is another one of them stories, bro. <laughs> Say it with me. I'm going to, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, for, hey, can you imagine, hello? Hey, I don't have your dog. Hey, like, you know, hey, call it. Hey, you know the funny story? Like, like the second day he got, he was, he was lost. I had a session with Hit Boy. Oh. And Big Sean was one, is one of my favorite artists. And I, I, I met Big Sean. I literally had to leave the studio. Cause someone had called me and said, "Hey, bro, I found your dog here," and it was, it was a lie. Cause you know fans would call me because they, oh, they had the drop of like the, oh, where we got lost. Say, bro, I saw your dog next to the school, and I would just go running like. Oh, so you went on a lot of like just chases too, bro. I, I would, <laughs> like bro. I was Pokemon. hell yeah. Can you imagine? Like, all right, seven step four. That sucks. I would pull Three up steps the other way. I would, uh, yep. I would pull up. I would any any call. I would hey, pull man, up. Hey man, in, in your head, yeah. did you think like, man, I'm gonna get the dog back, and whoever handed you, I'm gonna kill that motherfucker. <laughs> hey, do it smart. Hey, do it smart, cause like you told me, oh, we're gonna meet in Fontana in front of the in front of the police station. Boom, boom. But I pulled up like. I pulled up Dolo, but I had two other cars. Oh, I yeah, said, yeah, I said, yeah. Hey, but, like, far, like, far. Yeah. I said, hey, you, you had look. people dressed up as trees. No, I said, <laughs> hey, anything go, go, go south, you just run everyone over. That's not me or my dog. And your dog anyone was over. healthy and good? Yes, yes. Was there a reward? That's cool. Yeah, I gave, I gave him a reward. Yeah, I gave Damn. him a reward. Yeah. Hey, man, and you know what, man, you hear these stories, and they don't end like that. Mm -hmm. nah. You know, and that's another thing when you say no, manifestation, I'm, I'm so happy, bro. bro. I'm so, like... I wasn't even pissed. I spent. Like, I'm just so happy I got my dog back. Like, yeah. I look at him today and I said, "Damn, bro! Like, you're here yeah. with me. Like, you're here. Like, and Daddy you know what's did crazy that. about that too, man? And some people say, "Oh, that's that's ridiculous," but that was like somebody came in and took your baby. Bro, that's my yeah. baby. Yeah, that's man. Real. Yeah, that's my boy. Hey, I always say this. I write all my shit, but my dog writes my shit. Like Kemba. Right, like, like if he's in the studio, I'm. Psh I'm going hard. Like. Hey, man, I can't imagine in those few days what kind of music you recorded. I didn't record mm -hmm. shit. Oh, yeah. Talk, Nothing, man, bro. Yeah, his heart hurting. You know what I'm <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A little yeah. sad, just a little yeah. down. Yeah, he was, yeah, he was over there my, like getting no, the it's hard here because in LA, like the Latino community, like, like I'm not, I wasn't that pop. Like, right. In New York and Miami, yeah, but LA is harder. To, like you got, you know, Russians. It's, 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 it's way harder to find your dog here. Oh, yeah. Oh, so, yeah. And there's, there's movements, him. man. This is this is one of the songs that he uh, recorded when Kimball was gone. Yeah, man. Oh. I lost my dog. When I was home. Oh man. Kimba, come home. Come home to me. Kimba. Kimba. Oh. I missed the way you lit my forehead. 
Yeah, that was 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 the one, man. Man, I remember when that leaked. I was like, man. I was like, man. On a serious on a serious note, I have a song called Sin Frenos. It's one of my hardest like songs that that number wise that I did with Bisa Rap and Duki. Um, the intro of that song was a song that I had wrote when Kemba was lost. Oh. But it was like it was a really sad. So I just took the intro and put it. People think it was, it's for it's for some a girl. girl. <laughs> yeah, it was for my dog. I said it was for my dog. Was for oh my dog. man, yeah. hey man, I remember the OJs. They had a song called Brandy. If you don't know it, <laughs> Google it. But it was like you know, how could it be? You ran away from me. My best friend's gone. I'm so all alone. It was a I dog. really miss you, Brandy. Yeah, it was a dog. That dog will do that to you. <laughs> yeah, that dog man. will do that to you. It hurt more than a girl. That shit will hurt. Oh yeah, when you bring them in, when they finally get home, bro. Is that one of them things where you got you know like man this will never happen again? Nah, man, it was I couldn't even bro. I was just I couldn't even believe it. Like yeah. it's never like I got the chip. He got the chip the same day. Everything <laughs> oh, like yeah. oh my gosh. air air tag. You know everything like that's it, when you know this will never my ever happen again. Looking like looking like RoboCop now. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, did Kimba walk in and look at you like yeah? Mm-hmm. Nah, How many yeah, days? Nah, I was. Where was you at, Daddy? Yeah. <laughs> daddy, Daddy be tripping. Yeah, he ate all the cocoa pot. Like, yeah. All the cocoa. I better not come in there and find another bitch. <laughs> I better not come in there and find another bitch. All right. Eladio, you for a long time grew up like you mentioned in all these different places, but yeah. you are Puerto Rican, and that yes, means so man. much to you. What was that feeling like as you know a young kid going back to that beautiful island and feeling that presence? You know what? It was hard because mm. I didn't know Spanish. Yeah, I was gonna. Ask, it, it was hard as hell like but like since me like i was so used to you know moving cut off adapt like there was no like i was 11 like in my mind i was like, okay or i can pout all day and like or i can just mm-hmm. you know learn spanish and like I, there's no other way to do it was like, it yeah. hard when and when you say hard i mean even going back to puerto rico and not knowing the language but you know what it, it was hard just Cause like at the beginning, bro, I got in so many fights as a yeah. kid. Cause like people would make fun of me, like cause I couldn't talk back. Cause I'm, I'm a fast, like mm-hmm. I, I slick talk. Like when I, I will, I will burn, burn roast anyone so quick. Right. But like in Spanish, it was like, uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it was, it was yeah, but like, because this is universal. Yeah, that's yeah. Universal. but like it was. It was hard, but it was fun because like I, I wanted to learn so bad because like it was another challenge for yeah. like, them. You gotta do this like in order to fit in. In order, you gotta learn Spanish. What like, took y'all back to Puerto Rico? My, uh, you know what? I actually, like, never lived there. Okay. Until I moved because my dad was in the army. Like when he right. retired, when he retired, he said because you were born in the po- states. I was born in the states. Right. The door, the total, so Kansas. how does someone come and tell their kids at eleven we're moving to Puerto Rico? It's just that you know my dad was in the army in the service. Um, and you way had before, service. way yeah, way before right. I was born. So like I understood like he's Puerto Rican. Like mm-hmm. he was a good twenty five years in the states. He had to be like crazy I'm to born. go home already. Like you know, retire. Well, who am I to tell? Hey, Dad, right. retire to Florida. You yeah, know? yeah. He was like, we what? Nigga, shut here. up. Yeah. Like, <laughs> hey, we didn't do twenty five years. It was me. So like it was just you know me, me understanding my dad, my family, my grandma was also sick. So we had to like you know go take care ah. of her. So like it was just. <laughs> So they move, we move. Yeah, so you know, yeah. I, and my sisters were older. They were already out of the house. I was, it was only me left. So it was either that or just, oh. Hey, man, so when you go to to Puerto Rico, are you the only sibling there? Like yeah, the, only I'm the only kid? I'm the only oh, kid. Oh, so that's, that's even. And I'm in, that's the, I'm in the mountains. Like, my, I'm, from the, I'm from the country, country, Puerto oh. Rico. The country. So I'm not from the city. I'm from the country, country. Like, what does that feel if, like, if, though, if culturally? Just, like, to know that like, you're Puerto Rican and now you're finally in Puerto Rico. Cause like I didn't grow up in Puerto Rico, obviously. Yeah. And to like when I went back the first time, there was this feeling of like, this is a part of who I am. At at the beginning, it was more of like a a damn, I got I gotta do this. But like later, I I w- I was so proud and like I appreciated it so much. Like, damn, like I f- this feels right. Like, mm. like me living in the States, okay. But like this is this is like right now I live in Puerto Rico like oh I, yeah I was gonna ask I don't I don't live in place. Miami I don't mm-hmm. live in New York I I will never live in like I love going there to work you know but like to live live I don't record music in Puerto Rico I don't record I don't do videos I don't do anything work in Puerto Rico when Why? I get to Puerto Rico oh okay that's just peace home, it's paradise home. yeah that's that's my 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 untouchable spot that's like like. 
Is I your dad and everyone they still with us? Yeah, yeah, thank okay, God. Okay, yeah, God. yeah. How, how, is he loving it out there? Yeah, he's in. Does he know? Do they understand what their yeah. son and brother and what? Yeah, what, okay. they, 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 my, my dad, like, he'll go to spots and say, hey, do you know Layo Carrion? <laughs> That's my son. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, here, yeah. take a little more meat. I yeah. know, no, we got the same name. So, oh, like, he, would go, no. he would go to, like, oh, you know, the veterans, junior. the veterans hospital, and, like, you know, the kids there that, that work there, yeah. they're like, oh, you're Layo Z, and they would give him special treatment and shit. Oh, like, yeah, he was my like, dad man. loves it, my dad like, loves it. x rays they got me right in. <laughs> yeah, my, my dad loves it. I went right in. Does he ever come back to the States? Um, my sisters live here, so right. uh, we come up. But he he loves to stay in Puerto Have Rico. they seen you perform? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Thank God. dope. I take him on tour. Like I, I went to I took him to Chile, Argentina the other day. You know. Hey man, how crazy is that to experience that with your family, bro? I'm gonna show you because people my, don't get off the block. My dad, bro, is goes viral every time, like on TikTok. Every oh, time he goes to my it. concert, like he he be dancing, dancing? like oh, and shit. Oh, that's like, dope. Just, <laughs> Hey man, that gotta that gotta feel good it does, too, it does, bro. It does, it you know does, what I'm saying? Does. Especially there's so many directions that we as human beings can go into, yeah. and and the you know the world is big, but sometimes our thoughts, our location, and our neighborhoods are very small. And when you can take somebody and and have them experience that, and then on a different scale, yeah, right. it's not like you know I went to a travel agent and you know we're gonna be out here for a couple of days. Like that's that's an exciting life. Yeah, I'm glad you know that that. They could be able to see all of this. I'm, I'm yeah. very grateful for that. You know, it's and it's, it's also feels good because you know I know like, not, not not my dad, not, not that he doubted, but like I understand him as a father. Like, he would, he always would tell me, "Hey, Eladio, when you have kids, I don't have kids yet, but like when you're old, you're gonna understand." Like I understand why he was, you know, a little, you know, skeptic about me. Yeah, because like, damn. You're raising your son for twenty something, like for eighteen years, and, and then he, this... he wants to sing now. Like I would have gotten pissed too. Yeah, yeah, like, man. But, but you know, it's 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 a beautiful. But thing, that man. come that come with age, wisdom, and a little bit more understanding too. If, if my kid right now would have posted, hey, but daddy want to say like, no, you don't want to mm -hmm. sing. Yeah, man. <laughs> no, you don't. Like I, I went through that shit's hard as hell. You're gonna. And then it's such a world that you know everybody don't have a success story. You it's know? hard. It's hard. Like I'm, I'm very grateful, but like, it's just that, and it gets harder every day. Like nowadays, it's so easy. Like, cause right now you got artists that are crazy good that no one knows who they are. Yeah, man. You got artists that are crazy good that you know have the you know money behind them. You got people who don't like who are ass that got money behind them. Yeah, man. So it's just like it's right now. Like it's saturated, man. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like yeah. it, rap, rap, and like. Rap and hip hop and just like you know, having respect for like good lyrics is, is kind of lost today, man. Mm -hmm. Like, it's oh yeah, is, very much so, bro. Rap is in like in a, it's in a very you know delicate spot, and I just want to put my you know my little two cents and you know keeping even if it is on the Latin side, you know, just right. kind of trying to keep you know. But that when alive. you say the Latin side too, man, what do you feel about this so called? And I don't say explosion because this isn't going anywhere. Yeah, yeah. because we've seen it. I think that the world is when when you start to look at and you say, man, the best selling albums, the best selling tours, you know what I'm saying? And now when you see it, do you feel like now it's not and, and I mean we've had before, but now that it's like, okay, people recognize it even more so now. Because the reason why I ask is English, American music has dominated so many other countries, cultures, you know. The people say, oh, I went and sold out Germany. They don't understand the lyrics. I was in Japan. I was in yeah. this. But now you're starting to see international music. Like, I can sit up and really go to yours, and I don't know everything that you're saying. But I, I feel that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what a lot of Americans were doing around the world. And now you look now, and it's like a whole. Yeah, yeah, man. It's, it's beautiful. Bro. Yeah. Like, it's, it's the thing about, like, the Latino community like, that we have – like an up on is that we collab. Yeah, man. We're very like like united. Like you see all the all the top songs, it's, it's collabs, collabs, collabs. Yeah. Like we're, we're we're very like, you know, friendly like that. I think that that helps us a lot. Like like we're Is there any competition though? Yeah, of course there's yeah, competition. Yeah. But like I said, that you only have competition if you see it like that. Cause you know, mm -hmm. there's so much money to go to go around. There's so many fans to go around. There's so many like there's no reason to see someone as a threat or a competition. Yeah, there's competition, but like right, if, right, if right. you're like I said, if, if you're sure about your music, like I am, like 
There's never going to be competition. I heard that, bro. Well, it was a yeah. pre- pleasure having you in the no, neighborhood, it was, I man. Pl- I don't want to leave. Man, man. <laughs> well, hell, don't. I should do a podcast and nothing... invite you to one of my right. podcasts. Hey. Hey. hey, man. And watch you be the best podcaster, too. Yeah. Right? Like, I'll, do my, I'll do my best. I'll yeah. do my best. Yeah. Hey, man. So when does the new album drop? Because I saw two different dates. It's uh, March 16th. Okay, March, March 16th. 16th. Yeah, March 17, 16, yeah. 17, yeah, somewhere there. I heard that, man. Well, once again, man, congratulations on your journey. Oh, and now that we've had a chance soon, to link, man. yeah, you will. Yeah, yeah. And now man, that we've hey, had a chance to link, Puerto Rico I too. Hey, hey, let me get you guys right. Like, I always, I love Shut taking it. people to Puerto or DR, Puerto Rico or DR. It's my two. Oh man, it's my two spots. I love getting people right there. Let me know. All righty, yeah, my, my uh, write that down on Ani's yeah, album. Get on the list. <laughs> yeah, she, oh, yeah, we have a list of things that we list. have to do now. The list, I'm gonna tell you straight up, man. It's at about 28 things right now. No, but you yeah. gotta scooch that one up at least to Number four. One. Okay, yeah, for yeah, summer. Yeah. No, yeah. hey, next, next, next interview, we'll do it in Puerto Rico. Remember you said yeah. that. Yeah. Uh-huh. What for the fe- oh, for the f- bro? Damn, I got a festival, bro. When is it? May. It's the hardest. It's like Rolling Loud, but Puerto Rico. I got bro. Your festival, we just instead on, of doing we, instead, we're yeah, on it too. No, it's my fest. It's like a like a oh, like I'm, I'm closing. It's a two day festival, but I, I close it. But I got everyone. Hey up. man, damn, we gonna exchange numbers. I'm going, yeah, but yeah, I'm gonna yeah. take you straight up. I'm not bringing my wife. No, no, <laughs> no, 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 because I, I move, I move different. I'm gonna be nervous, you know, because my wife got ass too, and I don't want to fight nobody else. <laughs> Oh, see, y'all somebody. thinking of some other shit. Yeah. Now I'm talking about just holding down the family, man. Yeah. So yeah, okay. I'm gonna have, I'm Try gonna have to go, to go. Jail quick. Yeah, yeah. Can you imagine yeah. in jail in Puerto Rico? Oh yeah. Lord, have mercy, man. You, oh no, I ain't happening. But yeah, man. Yeah, I would love to go out there. I would do, would do. Yeah, yeah. All right. Remember you said that. I said, hey, hey man. man not only word. do we have it on video. It's everywhere, have, it's everywhere, yeah. it's everywhere. Yeah, it's everywhere. and I'm gonna make this a viral clip. <laughs> so when when is it again, Latio? When is um, it? It's May, 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 May fifteenth, May sixteenth. Oh, okay. It's there, yeah. Right. So, there it is. Are, are you gonna be out there too? Yeah. Okay. Well, we all. Oh, we're all out there. Puerto hey, Rico. All right, so man. Jet skis, Woo! boats, everything, Ooh. everything. Putting it on the list. Um, he wasn't really talking to you, honey. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, sorry about that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> I just, just write it down on the thing for on my calendar. Uh, big in Puerto Rico, May 15th, 16th, right of time. Block block me out from the 13th through the 20th oh, though. Yeah. Yeah. The 20th. Man. Yeah, just, okay. just just in case. You know gotcha. what I'm saying? And Natalia, you you probably need to go back to home. Yeah, it's play. been it's been a while. No, so no, you go you go in September. Rico, you're not like, going with us. Yeah, okay. VR, VR is a, a 30 minute flight yeah. from Puerto Rico. Hey Super man, close. my home girl Ide. Today's your birthday. Happy mm-hmm. birthday to you, Ide. But yeah, she's in a, the DR right now, and she's Ooh. and she's one that opened me up to you earlier. Oh yeah, cause D- that's my that's my that's my spot. Well, she she's from here. She's from Long yeah, Beach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She lives in New York now, but her card of like like what's next or being who you need to mess with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I always get mad up from Dominicans. Like, hey, and like the. Well, she's Mexican. Yeah. Oh shit! She, she's she's just visiting Mexican the DR right now. Mexicans yeah. too. Mexicans too. Yeah, she just she just knows she's in the DR for her birthday. Okay, you know what okay. I'm saying? So I don't know how much hookup you really got out there. Send her like a hey, lunch. Well, whatever she lunch. hey hey, yeah. well, let me know where she's at. I'll send I'll send her the I'll send her the best lunch. The All best right, remember lunch in you DR. said that. There it is. Yeah, right yeah, there. yeah, yeah. Let me hey, know. Hey man, I'm gonna let you get real. out of here before by the time <laughs> he's gonna have to do so many things for us. I'm gonna be in like a race. Hold on. Or the jewelry. Yeah, he gonna walk out of here. I'm going to be soft naked. stuff like a mug, boy. <laughs> hey, he going to walk out with this, and I'm going to be having shit. Like, ah. Man, but thank you for coming into the neighborhood, man. Oh, thank you, man. I wish you nothing but the best, and God willing, we'll do it again. Amen, amen, man. Man, there it is right anything there, man. Need, thank you. I'm here. Really? Yeah, anything guys need? Man, I think it's, uh-huh. what, 1500 yeah. uh-huh. What? Nah, go up a little bit. Hey, man, I need my, uh, I have a Cadillac. Okay. I need to get a chrome. We'll Can talk you... about that stage right okay, now. Okay, yeah, yeah, let's talk about, about it now. Yeah, right off yeah. 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 We'll do it off air. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your day, y'all. Big boy Big neighborhood. Boy. Big boy. <laughs>